Well, hello everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing okay now. Uh, had some problems, technical difficulties, whatever, in life. But we have been busy last little while. Uh, we decided to go ahead and try our luck with uh, one of the cattle paddle greenhouses that's supposed to take two days to put up. Yeah, okay. Well, because my husband has a bad back and I have a bad back, it's going on three months and uh, we're finally getting there. But uh, let me go ahead and show you <laughs> where we're at and what we've gotten so far. <laughs> this is what we've got. We uh, are doing ours 10 across and 20 long. So we had uh, five cattle panels and we decided to go ahead and close ours off in the front and we're gonna close it off in the back. And we're gonna put plastic and then we ordered some plastic that has windows and I'll show you that after we get it on. But we concreted our post down into the ground because it was just not stable enough for us. So we concrete, concreted the corner one here and then I can't remember how far it was. It was like two foot, I think. And we did that all the way down. And like I said, it's 20 foot long. And then that one down there, the center, we concreted that one. And then he, we're going to uh, put dirt or concrete or something. We're going to build it up anyway. And then we will close this in probably with wood down here. And then our plastic, of course, will go over the top. And then uh, we're just going to leave that open. I told him to leave that open. That way I could use that for my whatevers. As you can see, I already have stuff on there. And, yeah, we're thinking about um, putting in a, a row of buckets down here. And then down the center. And then down this way. Um, or... Maybe not buckets, maybe we're, I don't know, we're debating on different things. Maybe a uh, rain gutter and maybe some fish. And it's not really going to be aquaponic and it's not really going to be, uh, what's the other one? Whatever. Anyway, uh, we did some research and we're just going to kind of do our own thing. Oh, hey y'all. How are you doing? I am hot and sweaty. I've uh, been out here working on that. Hoop house thingy majigger greenhouse thing. Uh, um, remember the gaps that were on the bottom of the greenhouse? Well, I told you I didn't know what we were gonna do. Well, I was gonna show you what we came, well, what my honey came up with. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> anyway, let me turn you around here and show you what he came up with. He's pretty clever. All right, this is what he is doing. He's got these, what are these boards? Fencing boards, six by six by six fencing boards. We cut them down. We cut them down to fit down there, and, and then close that gap up. Yeah, close that gap up, and hopefully keep the water out. And he's doing that all the way around. around. And then he put that tarp up because it is hot and giving a little bit of shade. As you can see, not much, but that does give him a little bit. Well, Six inch because naturally this was the low end and that was the high end. We don't want water getting underneath it, so we're getting down. I'll go in and show you exactly. And we'll fill in the, fill it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will. Oh. He, uh, when we went ahead and dug down a little bit more, put the boards in like that, and then. Well, that'll all get filled in. And then this one over here, like that, is how we'll have it filled in. We got extra boards we had, so... Yeah, we're using what we got, utilizing material. Uh, so as you can see, we are making progress. Uh, don't know exactly what we're going to do on the front as far as closing that part in. Um, he ain't sure what he's going to do yet. <laughs> and um, I don't think we're going to ever build another one like this because it has been a pain in our backside. 
But if y'all have any suggestions on what we could have done different, leave them in the comments. That way if we do ever build another one, we might take them into consideration. But like I said, if we do ever build another one, we'll probably do a different route. <laughs> now this this two-day job is turning a two-month job. <laughs> two months? We're going on three months. Yeah, three months. Yeah. Work a day and then down three days. Uh, yeah. Like that. So, yeah. Uh, doctor told me I better start taking it a little bit easier. And, yeah. So, anyway. That's what we got so far. So, um... I guess that's it for this one. I'll probably add this one to the other one anyway. So, all right. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Hello. I am way behind on the greenhouse update. So, let me try to catch it up just a little bit. All right. So, on the outside, we have got some gravel and went around with gravel. Got the, I don't even remember the what I told you last time but we got plastic on here we got the doors and oh, we got the water troughs we got gravel on the inside we got the water in the holding, tank. holding tanks we got paint on this side we're starting to get uh, our Starting plant. dirt in the <laughs> buckets and containers and this was our first experimental plant right here and look at that pretty head of lettuce get this one over here yeah our little spinach over there but it's not as pretty as this head of lettuce here that i'm really oh, proud of that we did <laughs> yeah it but, actually survived well <laughs> Temperatures went down 20 below there for about four days and with just our little heater in here It actually kept it above freezing and it survived. So yeah, it I'm not sure what the temperature is right now. Of course, we've had the door open too though temperature right there. But yeah. It's a uh, 40 or 50 I don't know 55 maybe I don't know. and We're still talking about putting fish in here and putting the minnow bucket over there to feed the fish so the fish can fertilize the plants fertilize the water yeah yeah fertilize the water for the plants in uh, let's see the um the water of course comes in over there and then it goes in underground and it fills up our water tank here which yeah, it has a floater there, which in turn comes out. Gravity fed. Yeah, gravity fed through here. And then all of our troughs have little floaters there. So when they get low, it uh, automatically fills them up. And our. You want to pick one of these up, baby? Uh, our, our yeah, our little containers. Yeah. Now our little containers have yeah, all of our containers. Yeah, all of our containers have a uh, cup on the bottom with, with a sock, sock. Mm -hmm. and then it's uh, filled with dirt, of course, mm -hmm. and then it sits in the water trough. Automatic feeder. And the automatic feeder, like I said, uh, the little floater when it gets low of course the water kicks on and automatically waters and yeah it works. <laughs> yeah it definitely works because <laughs> there's our proof right there <laughs> and then like i said there's our little spinach over here right there and we are fixing to whoop, we're going to plant some tomatoes in here we're going to put some uh Radishes. Uh, radishes and um, uh, yeah, yeah we're gonna put some more spinach and uh, lettuce over there and uh, cabbage cabbage, yeah. cabbage over there and onions and we got some other seeds but we're gonna have to get some more dirt yeah, well, and we're actually we're building a table in the corner over here so whenever 
and put some holes in top of it naturally so whenever we're working on our buckets and stuff set it in the hole that way it's flat on the surface and it doesn't mess up our cups and have a place to work like um, right now we're working off the ground yeah so we'll get us a table up here and be a lot less work work on the back and what have you yeah we would have been done a long time ago if we didn't have bad backs yeah, according to the video we watched, this was going to be a three-day job. How long did it take? Do I still not know? <laughs> Six months? <laughs> yeah. Of course, you got two bright, both broke back people here, so we're, doing, we're progressing. Yeah, that's uh, that plant over there. That's my uh, uh, sweet peppermint. peppermint. No, this this one over here is peppermint. This one mm. is uh, like sweet pep, sweet it's a mint plant anyway yeah, sweet right. mint something like that so anyway yeah um we don't have the we're not sure we're going to cut the plastic for the windows no as, as you can see there's a whole bunch of windows yeah. right through there but we're going to put a fan in the back with vents yeah in the front here right here there uh we're going to put the fan probably back there and then, and then up here somewhere yeah up here somewhere we'll draw the air through yeah, because in the summertime in Oklahoma, it gets really yes, hot. It really does. So, but yeah, that yeah, is. And this place also built its own uh, ecosystem almost. It, the the uh, condensation builds up in here really good. It really does, especially when the fan's on. So that helps out with the plants staying moist and stuff and not drying out on the outside. So yeah, but we could probably feel no we probably have to filter this water and drink it off the top <laughs> but yeah so that's where we're at so that is our hoop house greenhouse hoop house <laughs> uh three-day project that has taken us all winter <laughs> into spring and we are just now getting our plants going and uh yeah, yeah. it's been a uh <laughs> definite project that uh i don't think i want to do again but no, no, yeah didn't expect it to run into this no we work. didn't definitely didn't but um it turned out good though it, yeah it definitely turned out good and we had a mini tornado come through and it Sheesh. lasted through that and held up through that so uh yeah we're confident in staying yeah but um we uh of course i showed you in the other video we cemented in the corner thingies the post and everything and i definitely am glad we did it now so yeah we would have lost everything I'm yeah sorry. we would have it would have blown away but anyway but yeah anyway that is our greenhouse hoop house cattle panel whatever you want to call it so there you go uh do i recommend you build one <laughs> you decide <laughs> yeah you decide i mean I, there's hundreds of videos of people who have built them and built hoop, hoop, hoop <laughs> different ideas um you know, i took them through somewhere from three days to a week but yeah but they didn't have bad backs either exactly. so yeah and yeah of yep. course, i'm a perfectionist yeah my husband is a perfectionist but when he builds something he builds it to last and through a tornado <laughs> <laughs> right through a tornado that's for sure um i would build one for my ducks or my chickens but not this is extravagant definitely uh but anyway yeah so anyway, I will quit rambling, and I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, God bless you. Have a great day, and I will catch you on the next one. Till then, take care. All right, bye.